Hello everyone, Mimikins here. There's two fests that are happening in Monster Hunter World. In Astero we have the Winter Star Fest which is available to everyone and the Holiday Joy Fest which is held in Celiana which is only available to those who have access to the Iceborne expansion. These events will be running for almost two weeks from Friday the 21st of August to Thursday the 3rd of September. This video will cover both the Starlight and Holiday Joy Fest as well as a Master Rank event items which I will show the rewards for. There's more events coming up in the next few months, which I will cover when they become available. It's a great time to catch up on items you've missed and there's many unique layered armours and palico fashion to collect. Make sure you zone into both gathering hubs during the event quest to unlock items, otherwise some may not appear, such as Pookie's fashion. For players who don't have Iceborne, you can join in the Winter Star Fest. Log in during the event to get a new guild card, background, posies and titles. Poogie has an outfit to collect called the Boa Bell Coat. This costume has a small bell that jingles when Poogie shakes. The handler has a winter outfit. It's just temporary for the event. However, if you like it a lot, you can purchase it as a DLC from the shop called the Handler's Spirit Coat. Each day you log in, you will receive two lucky vouchers as well as star fireworks and winter star tickets. You can get more tickets by completing limited bounties at the resource centre which reset daily during the event. You can trade tickets in for various items. The Orion layered armour which costs 5 tickets. You can use 3 tickets to craft the full snow set for your palco. Who can resist this little snowman following them around? I just love the way the palco waddles since his costume has no feet. This is perfect for Dee to start off in Iceborne, you know how she loves her fashion. There's the Orion armour you can craft for your character. I personally haven't really used this as an armour. It does offer good slot options as well as high ice resistances with plus one on every other element. For players who have the expansion, you will be able to join in both fests. This is what you can get from the Celiana Holiday Joy Fest. A new guild card background, title words and a pose. D likes being larger than life. There's a costume for the handler. This one is only available while the event is up unless you purchase it from the cash shop. If you zone into both gathering hubs, you will have the option to select between the two event outfits. Piggy has a cute costume to unlock. As a login bonus, you gain both Winter Star tickets and Star Fireworks from the Winter Star Fest along with Joyful tickets and Snowmen. You can also get more tickets each day by completing the limited bounties. Joyful tickets can be exchanged for the following items. A lucky crimson tiger pendant costing 3 tickets. This adorable little costume for your palico, I love how the jaw wobbles on it. You can also use joyful tickets combined with winter star tickets to purchase a master rank version of the snow set. The oolong armor set. I love the armor design on this. You'd want to wear this armor set for the set bonus joy's gift and joyful blessing. It increases your chances of obtaining VIP joyful tickets from hunts in the special reward section. This doesn't have to be from master rank missions, they can also be from helping low rank people in SOS runs. These VIP tickets that can then be used to purchase the Oolong layered armour. This layered armour can be mixed and matched to create your own look. Different colours of the lucky tiger pendants which cost two each. There are some new decorations for your room, new lights, new food items for your table, a new lamp for your bedside, as well as this little cute snowman ornament. 
There's also some new items at the Steamworks. Melding tickets, these can be exchanged at the Elder Melder for some randomised rare jewels under Guild Alchemy. The latest addition to the event quest is the Frostfang Barrieth who was first available on the 7th of August. He has two armour sets which are viable for endgame as well as many ice based weapons to collect. I have a video up on YouTube with a full armour and weapon showcase. I will leave links in the description. The Evening Star and the Dawn of the Death Star, these are fights against Alatrian and the alternate daily. This quest is running till the end of the year, currently it is the only way to initiate a fight against Alatrian after defeating him in the special assignment. He also drops a lot of top end equipment and weapons. If you would like to know more about this, please check out my Alatrian Made Easy video which showcases all the rewards and builds I found useful. There are other returning events which you should collect, some have new layered versions available. Fetching Light Pearls. Complete this quest to get herbivore tickets to create the Pelby Laird armor head. Skyward Snipers. This quest you can get Downy Crake ticket twos to make this adorable Downy Crake Laird armor. A fish to whet your appetite. Complete this quest to get special materials for making the wet fish saber jewel blades. You can also use a ticket to use this as a layered weapon. Camouflage. This quest drops herbivore tickets used to make Aptonoth layered armor. Seeing is believing. Completing this quest to get spirited canteen tickets for making some frothy jewel blades. There's also a layered weapon option if you just want the appearance. The Assassin. This quest allows you to upgrade the Assassin's Hood. Don't forget the earplugs, you need 3 pilot hair tickets from this quest to craft the hairband layered armour. Monkey Business. 3 gold spring tickets from this quest will let you make this super cute gold spring layered armour. The Naked Truth. This quest drops materials for the lightweight inner wear, alpha and beta layered armour. For those times you want to look pro while fighting with no armours on. The Distant Dark Tide. This is a fight against the arch-tempered Namiel. It drops gamma armour as well as several layered armour options. Feel free to check out my Namiel video if you want more information about the fight and rewards. The Eternal Gold Rush. This quest is available after unlocking the World Quest Banquet in the Earthen Hall. This unlocks the Kulf Tarith Master Rank Armor which has the free meal secret. Level 3 free meal is amazing for saving consumables. The overall set although may not be the best DPS it offers a lot of extra utility and quality of life which makes it enjoyable to use. The materials in this quest can also be used to upgrade all of the high rank Kulf Tarith and Kiar weapons. Flora Frostbite, this drops Wyvarian tickets that you can use to craft yourself a pair of Wyvarian ears. Beef is never a mistake, drops meaty canteen tickets, you will need 3 to craft yourself this juicy well done hammer. 50 shades of white drop fest tickets which can be used to craft a variety of weapons. There is one for each type with a unique model, here are all the weapons you can get from the tickets. A Shocking Climate drops Unity Symbols, these can be used to craft new items such as the Space Lord Hammer, as well as upgrading some of the previous event items into Master Rank versions. You will need the base item from the High Rank Event Quests if you don't already have them. I'm happy to see some of my favourites returning to Master Rank. This quest also allows you to get things for your Palico. There is a Master Palico Mega Man set, 
a master rank version of the Moogle set from the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration, a master rank Necker set from the Witcher collaboration, this adorable little conductor palico outfit, known as the Maestro set. The classic palico set from the original Monster Hunter. This doesn't come with a headpiece, but you can equip any other head with it. Pearl Snatchers. This Drops Pearl Spring tickets used to make this very cute Pearl Spring headgear. I love this and it even blinks. Trophy Fishing. Drops Freezer tickets. You need five in total to craft this very unique greatsword. Who can resist smacking a monster over the head with a giant frozen fish? Every Hunter's Dream 2 drops Wiggler Pots which are used to craft your Palco the Wiggler set. Make sure you check out Dee's video showcasing this fabulous armour. Duffel Duty. This drops Penguin tickets which you can use to craft the Duffel Penguin mask. Every Hunter's Dream 3 drops Black Eagle Blueprints. Five are needed to fully craft the Black Eagle Charge Blade Van Design Contest winner. You can also upgrade the Wyvern Ignition to Master Rank version using two tickets. Scores of Ores drops Pickaxe tickets. You need three of them to craft this very unique Pickaxe Gongsword. RE Return of the Bioweapon, this is the Resident Evil collaboration event, this drops star badges, there are a lot of nice items here, two armour sets, three pendants, items for your room as well as some gestures. Check out my video regarding this one for more information. A chilling entrance drops items to craft the sealed dragon cloth, I love this design and it has a very anime feel to it. It reminds me of Strider which is another character owned by Capcom who has appeared in various mangas and games over the years. There are three exclusive event quests for the PS4 which contain a lot of unique items based on the Horizon Zero Dawn franchise. I have made a detailed video on each quest showing off the many rewards as well as tips for the battle. I also explain where you can get the base materials to upgrade various parts. You need to complete the quest in order, so if you're on the PS4, start with my part 1 quest. Not sure if they'll open this up in the future to other formats, but the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition was released on PC on the 7th of August this year. Muscle Monkey Madness drops buff tickets that you can use to craft the buff body armor. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.